Hello, welcome back guys, this is Qual Blue Shadow, and today I'll actually be teaching you how to make a helicopter. Uh, so I already have the rough design and everything ready, um, I just gotta hug it up. So, yes, just make sure you have this tail rotor, the rotor, you have to have a throttle lever, a star uh, starter push button, and a key for the auto hover. Now I have nothing hooked up right now, uh, I've actually gotten the engine ready, put the batteries connected, uh, and yes, uh, and one thing I, uh, I have to tell you guys to watch out for is, and that I missed the first time building a helicopter, um, is that you have a little intake, uh, for the power, right? So it's not here. Mine was on the bottom. So let me show you what I mean. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you see how I had to hook this up? Yeah, there was one right there. It wasn't like it connects through here. So yeah, just watch out for that. Yeah, make sure that doesn't get you. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna really quickly wire up the gyro. Forgot to do that. <laughs> All right, and now the first thing you need to do is connect your throttle and starter to the engine, and make sure that all the power is connected to everything, and then you should be good. All right. So next, I'm just gonna put the auto hover. And now, uh, this is where you actually start using the rotors. So. Um, I'm gonna really quickly just find the stabilized yaw and I'm gonna put this over here and then the stabilized yaw is gonna be left and right so yeah make sure you have stabilized yaw as left and right uh, otherwise your keys will be messed up and you won't like that so next A and D A and D is the roll and so you grab the stabilized roll and you find one of these three uh, on the large rotor that says roll Next, uh, for the okay W S key, this will be pitch. Make sure you hook up the pitch, and then up and down will just be up and down, and then stabilized up and down. Collective is where you need to connect that, and uh, should be done. So that should be pretty much all you have to do. Uh, pause the video in certain parts if you need to. Um, I did do that kind of fast. But, yes. Oh yes, and make sure to- Oh, actually, I, I don't need the altimeter. I just remember that. Uh, yeah, you don't need an altimeter. <laughs> Unless you're, like, getting some sort of altitude hold. Alright, so I'm gonna turn auto hover on. And voila! Oh yes, I forgot to mention something. So this is- uh, the rotor is gonna automatically come as positive. You do not want this. Never. So you want to put this in neutral. No trial. Uh, there we go. And then, it's fine. That way you don't like slam into the roof as soon as you uh, start the engine. And so at first it'll just, you can control it, but it has like really rough controls. And then when you press auto hover on, voila, stabilized. Now the engine's about to explode as I don't not have a good coolant system. But don't worry about that, right? Um, the th point is that this works. So, uh, yeah. I also have an announcement to make. I will be starting a Stormworks, uh, oh boy. Uh, yeah, a Stormworks, um, how do we call this? A Let's Play. And it's gonna be, um, an advanced career mode. So, make sure to watch out for that. And I'll see you next time. 